You promise not to say anything? Ever? Really? Ever? You promise? Okay, but seriously, if you say anything, I will have to leave and never come back. And that is the last thing I want, baby. But I'm not even joking. Okay. My name isn't what I told you it was. I'm not from Brazil. There is no injury or epiphany that made me want to come here. I'm from a city on the other side of this country and I'm in hiding from circumstantial evidence which will very likely damn me to life in prison. Honey, it's okay. Here, listen to the whole story. What happened was I was living alone in an apartment with the world's bitchiest neighbors. I played Fortnite most nights with my friends. They must have heard all the screaming and swearing because I frankly didn't like them and didn't give a shit how loud I was. Yeah, I was an arsehole back then. One night, a fucking wasp got in and stung me. I smacked it and it went totally berserk and started buzzing all over the damn place. I didn't have any bug spray, so I tried to smash it with a dictionary. Could not get the little bastard. The sting was hurting and I got madder and madder. I started yelling, fucking die, you bitch. I'll kill you, you piece of shit fucking die. And I was hammering almost every surface in the damn apartment with a big heavy dictionary trying to squash the little prick. The neighbors called the cops on me, which wouldn't have been so bad by itself, but you want to hear the twist? A woman was murdered in the alleyway right outside my bedroom window. The bastard must have heard me screaming at the wasp and realized he had the perfect fall guy and bashed in her head and disappeared. Five neighbors said they recognized my voice and heard me making very clear death threats and loud noises. So how do you think the cops reacted to, I didn't do it, officer. I was only trying to kill a wasp, officer. I had to mortgage my apartment to pay for bail, but there was no way I was gonna stick around and get life for the world's worst case of bad timing. I left the next day. So, honey, my baby, now you know everything. Will you still marry me?